Shown here is our DynaBraid filter regulator lubricator, also known as an FRL, DynaBraid part number 10690. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to maintain your FRL to ensure that you have clean air and lubrication always supplied to your tool running. First step you're gonna to wanna to take is of course, shut off your air supply, uh, bleed out your air lines, or if you're already at your FRL here and you have a release valve, release the air. Once you're sure that there's no air being supplied to your FRL, we can now safely maintain it. On each of your uh, portions of your, tool, or your FRL here, you'll have your filter and your lubricator. Each have a level indicator. On your filter, this is gonna indicate how much water or moisture has been trapped uh, from your air lines. And on your lubricator side, this is gonna indicate how much lubrication is left. In order to maintain this, to drain your filter, you wanna keep a container underneath and there's a silver knob here that you can use hand tighten and loosen you drain this of course catching the water in your container and you'll drain it until it's dripping or stopped tighten it back up just hand tight and discard that water now occasionally uh, inside the filter canister here there is a filter element it will need to be replaced uh, depending on your usage. In order to replace that, you would press this tab down and you can turn it counterclockwise or clockwise. You would turn it until you feel it stop and then you can pull down and remove the filter. The filter canister itself, for the filter cartridge, uh, is lined up with four notches. You'll feel it come loose. You can remove it there. The filter itself has a flange on the rear. You can remove your flange and then remove your filter. To replace the filter, you would simply place it back over, replace your flange, insert back into your filter canister, line those four tabs up, and then depress this silver tab, line your notches up, and then turn it back to where the silver tab locks into the center here. On your, fil on your lubricator side, you'll be checking your indicator, and when you need to refill this, you would simply depress the silver tab here, remove it just as you did the filter, counterclockwise or clockwise, and then pull down. There is a small tube on the inside here that you wanna make sure you keep a rag. I always wipe it off just to ensure that no lubrication gets onto the floor, just to keep things a little safer. And then using DynaBraid Air Lube or a 10 weight non-detergent air lubrication, refill your lubricator as needed. and then simply depress the tab, line these back up, line the tabs back up, and then turn to where your center, your silver tab is centered and locked in. And now your FRL is ready to go. Your tools will be able to have clean air and lubrication supplied.